I Know What I Like in Your Wardrobe was the first charting single by the rock band Genesis. It was drawn from their 1973 album Selling England by the Pound. The single was released in the UK in February 1974 and became a minor hit in April 1974 when it reached number 21 in the UK singles chart. Production The song's lyrics concern a young man who is employed as a groundsman and who says that he does not want to grow up and do great things, being perfectly happy where he is pushing a lawnmower. Bally Swanwick's painting The Dream, which was used for the Selling England album cover, alludes to the song. Swanwick added the more to the original painting at the band's request. The song, inspired by the Beatles, has a psychedelic rock sound, using hand percussion rhythms and a riff from Steve Hackett that originated from a jam between Hackett and Phil Collins. Keyboardist Tony Banks used a note played on the low end of the Mellotron during the intro and ending to imitate the sound of a lawnmower. Reviewing the song in The Guardian in 2014, Stevie Chick said, Locking in at a shade over four minutes. I know what I like, rises with a heat as shimmer, before locking into a groove akin to traffic's hole in my shoe, a hippie reverie that fits the song's slacker vibe like a pair of tailored bell bottoms. The song's anti-heroism is fit, like all the others in the Gavrilera songbook, the dropout happy with his lawn mowing life, despite the disapproving whispers of his suburban neighbors. His rebellion is soundtrack by nagging, lazy sederlick, a woozy sing-along chorus, and a flute solo that pens people doubtless interpreted through the medium of dance when the song appeared on top of the pops after reaching no 21 in the charts, footage of which has sadly yet to reach YouTube. Release and Reception Released by Charisma in the UK in February 1974, I Know What I Like was the band's only pop hit of their early years, at a time when progressive rock bands largely avoided the singles market. The song was played on top of the pops. Its success would not be topped until and then there were three albums, Follow You Follow Me, some four years later in 1978. The B-side was the non-album track, Twilight Tale House, recorded during the sessions for Foxtrot, 1972, but left off the album due to lack of room. Its lyrics portray a lonely man who finds solace in the local tavern. The song had been in Genesis live set since 1970 but was not recorded in the studio until 1972 during the Fox Trot sessions, and its initial release was held until this point. Twilight Tale House was later released as part of Genesis Archive 1967-75. Live Performance Later live versions of this song, such as the one on Seconds Out, feature an extended instrumental section, which includes snippets of various other Genesis songs, such as Visions of Angels, Blood on the Rooftops, Dancing with the Moonlit Night, and Stagnation, and songs by other artists, such as Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood. In the version on The Way We Walk, snippets include Follow You Follow Me, That's All, Illegal Alien, and Your Own Special Way. Phil Collins performed the dance during these instrumentals, using a tambourine in a tight, rhythmic fashion against his hands, elbows, knees, feet, ass and head, this can seen in the Genesis, in concert film from 1977, as well as the live DVD The Way We Walk, live in concert, 1992, and when in Rome 2007. For The Way We Walk and Turn It On Again tours, this song was played as part of a medley of old Genesis songs, and starting with the trick of the tale tour in 1976 was often performed with excerpts of Stagnation from the album Trespass 1970. During the Turn It On Again tour shows, images from the band's history cycled by in the background. Cover versions in 1993, Marilyn's ex-front one fish did a cover version on his songs from the Mirror album. Fish said his decision to cover the song was to prove to his critics that he could interpret the song differently from Gabriel, having been previously dismissed in his career as a Gabriel clone. Personnel Peter Gabriel, lead vocal, flute, percussion. Tony Banks, Hammond organ, RP Pro soloist synthesizer, Mellotron. Steve Hackett, electric guitar. Mike Rutherford, bass guitar, electric setter. Phil Collins, drums, assorted percussion, harmony vocals, 